good wins in Cape Town and also a good result for them in Dubai. So, what to New Zealand to strike back? So, Mitchell starts the game and kicks deep. And the wind has played havoc with some of these teams, particularly those who tried the long passing game. Here's Kuroi, and he has some talent, this young fellow. We'll get the thoughts of Carl Tenana, who's sidelined in just a moment. Well, there's a big pass from New Zealand, and Scott Curry, as he likes to do, ranging wide, clattering into Dan Norton. Norton stands his ground, and Rodwell goes in to help England out. And New Zealand have it, but England pressing. Keep them inside the 22. Iopo Aso. Just out from the 22. Now Collier, nothing really on. Stowers offloading it. England pressing up nicely here. Kuroi, look at the confidence he's got. And the shimmy and the step. And away he goes. He's got support. For And Smith, Sarah Goss, of course, New Zealand's champion women's sevens player, Cody Taylor, another All Black, and now this Villamoni Koroi who comes back to halfway, having converted the try that he made for his skipper. And Mitchell might be wondering where'd he go. Koroi kicks deep and oh, gets it in behind England, too, drives them back to their goal line. And they won't be too worried, England. Mitchell. Away to the hater. Now it's uh, McConaughey out of the 22 and uh, not rolling away the tackler there, so England will get a penalty. It's an interesting selection. England pretty much going with their stock standard starting seven. Simon Amor showing a bit of faith here. And Bibby. Dan Bibby always makes something happen. Nice shape in their attack here, too, as they get it away to Norton. Goes backwards. New Zealand trying to press up inside the 22. Moved on by Burgess, and now here is McConaughey. Back to Burgess, the return pass. Right. Uh, Scott Waldrum said it early on in the week. Thank you. Uh, open something, a nice cutout pass from Shu and Stowers, and a bit of space now for Scott Curry, the captain. He'll look to offload it in field, he does to Collier, Rodwell comes back though, what a worker he is for England. Able to play it again, and Rodwell looking to disrupt, and well, could have got him for a couple of things, Mitchell came in the side there as well, Curry takes the tap, but not from the mark. You can't run. So still just the one try made by the man. Well, he's, I think he's leaving it for someone else here, Koroi. Moves away to the right. Mickelson over the ball. And here is Koroi. Big dummy and then a lovely floated pass. Oh, Regan well in. This kid looks special. Koroi. Brilliant pass, easy for Regan Ware. Good to see Regan Ware back in the New Zealand shirt. This is where it all started earlier on, with Curry taking it in the inside ball there to Collier. And just look at the way that they get back on defence. Brilliant from the English team, but then Kuroi, some magic. Thought about one way, then the opposite. And that is pretty to watch, Kartanana. Here plays a motion from New Zealand, Dylan Collier, with the run to draw on two defenders, and then the nice ball cutting out Sherwin Stowers. 20 metres on the chest of Regan Ware from Viramoni Kuroi. Good to see Regan back in the number 10 jersey scoring tries for New Zealand.
But passes like that, not easy on a day like today. The wind is blustery. We've seen plenty of those sorts of passes, either hit the ground, sail over the touchline. That one was right on the money. So New Zealand lead 12-0. And again, looking to get the kick in behind England. Well, that's a good result. Goes into touch. There will be time for the line-out, will there? Yes. OK. No. There won't. So half-time, and New Zealand have scored two tries, both of them sparked by young Villamoni Koroi, the 18-year-old. They lead England by 12 to nil. Don't appear to be any changes. Kuroi hoists it high. Curry getting after it, but oh, spectacularly taken by Rory McConaughey for England. But uh, the ball squirts out on the New Zealand side, and Mickelson has it. Hater trying to get him over the touchline. He done well to keep it in play. Picked up on the bounce now by Regan Ware for New Zealand. Fighting his way through, beating off the tackles. Lobs it back in field. And Re oh, the Sherwin Stowers couldn't hold the pass, but the referee brings them back for a penalty. And now a chance to get the ball wide. Kuroi lobs the pass out wide. Another one right on the money for Yopo Assel. pass and Yopo Yopo Assel. With Yopo Yopo Assel staying wide, Kuroi, that's what gave him the option. Yeah, and the young man's enjoying it. It was a knock on earlier from New Zealand though. So it will be an England ball to the scrum. Right. Simon, Am Simon Amor asking for them to up the tempo and work off the ball. And New Zealand just identifying and targeting that breakdown area. Good work again from Mickelson to get him to make a nuisance. Sure. The error rates on day two Crouch. have been quite Five. high. Set. Wind's got up a bit, and that hasn't helped. Pressure as well. Desperation. England have it, and things are starting to look a little desperate. They've got four minutes, and they keep knocking the ball on. And it's not going to help. Phil Burgess, there was a big gap there. Big gap. Well, if... Mitchell didn't knock it on, Burgess well, certainly did. He wasn't well, really expecting it, Phil Burgess, to be fair seven. to him. And uh, Tony seven Ng-Shu right? is on, Sorry, seven playing his ten. first ten. tournament. The young man yeah, now playing out of the Tasman province in New Zealand, a product of Botany Downs yeah, yeah. Secondary yeah, School in Auckland. He goes into the hooker's role. Good opportunity Crouch. for him to make a mark with four minutes still to play. Set. Oh, oh, they come with it. And uh, another lovely pass out wide, taking out a couple of defenders. Collier making good ground. Moved on by Ng Shu. And Curry out wide. Takes two to put him to ground. And he can't, yep. uh, the referee says, still play, I think. Oh, now he's giving the knock on the other way, and England have it. Over. No. Can they spark something now? England starting to run out of time. Davis put on the ground on halfway. And, uh, well, good work over the ball easy, easy. from New Zealand. Mickelson was in there. So too was Regan Ware, and they get the penalty. Well, this is all about taking time off the clock, yep. Tony, Come for this New Zealand team. Three score game at the moment. They'll take it to the set PC count, That's more right. time off the clock. We sit there, and if they can score one more try, I think it's done and dusted. England desperate to get something going, but it's just not happening for them. Phil Burgess is uh, leaving the field now. England, of course, did not want this to happen because they were very close behind South Africa at the top of the table. Of course, like everyone, there will be another chance next weekend, but they've got to try and finish as high as they can this weekend first. 
Ethan Waddleton, who's come on for England. There's Villamoni Koroi, who's certainly the find of this tournament for New Zealand. Curry. Koroi. It's the pass away to Stowers. Now Isaac Tatamaki. And uh, on to Regan Weir. He'll chop back and field. Ducking around behind one of his teammates, though, and yeah. the referee has decided that's an obstruction. Denied England the opportunity to make the tackle, and so it. Oh no, no, he said accidental. It's been a weekend. Mitchell to put it in. Well, is there time for England? Checking away on them. Mitchell, though, just trying to engineer a little bit of an opening here for. Lindsay Hay, they have to go right back to the goal line. Davis, dangerous ball across field, but he's got away with it. It's, uh, Tom Bowen taking a good tackle over on the far side by Dylan Collier. New Zealand get a penalty. DJ Forbes. And Shu comes across to take it. And Forbes, it is, moving it on. Kuroi. Tatamaki stabbing one through. Uh, that sits up nicely for Dan Norton. Off he goes. Dangerous Dan. Tatamaki got back and made the tackle. Mitchell, though, is absolutely monstered by DJ Forbes. And the All Black Sevens get it back. And an opportunity now to put this one out of reach. And they're going to do that through Sherwin Stowers. J. Forbes, thumping tackle, wins the turnover. Sherwin Stowers goes in for the try, and that'll seal it. One thing that really impressed me, Carl, was the width that they held the forwards. It was the, the old guys, the established guys, were spoken about the impact of Forbes, but how good has Sherwin Stowers been this weekend? The little pass, and Sherwin Stowers did the rest. little double pump on the pass too from Kuroi to complete a very good game from him to Tamaki with the kick from wide out little icing on the cake so New Zealand will go through for the final in the playoff for fifth a comprehensive win in the end over England by 24 points to nil